Hi, this is Michael Dillon. So I uh, got the Car Care Nut channel and that guy made me spend some money. I bought the D8 X Tool Scan Tool and the main reason I bought it is I wanted to turn off the annoying buzzer for my seat belt uh, reminder. It goes ding, 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 ding. So in this video, I'm going to unbox my D8, use it for the first time, show you how easy or hard it was, and uh, you'll see what I did. And then I also did uh, my friend's Camry. I actually had him do the Camry. And uh, the Car Care Nut channel is a great channel. I recommend that you uh, YouTube search Car Care Nut channel. I do appreciate thumbs up. Now is the time before you watch the video, smash the thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I guess like and smashing the thumbs up are the same thing, but appreciate subscribes. I'm working on getting 1,400 subscribes. And thanks so much for watching. So I just got my X-Tool D8 because the Car Care Nut channel talked me into it. I don't need this. Like, I need a hole in the head, right? And I chose English. I just fired it up. One thing I'm a little miffed by is I thought it could be charged by a USB because it's an Android tablet. But no, it can't be charged by USB. They give you a proprietary charger. So <clears throat> why the heck would you sell an Android device and then have a non-standard Android charger. So, and then it says, Dear user, thank you for using this product. The product needs to be activated online. If there's no network connectivity, you can click the trial button in the upper right-hand corner. So, why is that? That's odd. Let's see, connect via Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect to that one and share my password with you. So it's connecting. And let's see what it does. All I want to do is turn off the annoying beep, beep, beep. Connection success. Start activate. I have read and agree with all this stuff, so I have to put my email in there. I like the way the uh, keypad works. says they're going to take my firstborn child. Activation success. <laughs> All right. Well, it says activation success. Now it says initializing data. Please wait patiently. Got this little here device. I think I plug it into this little here thing, which is the cable cord. I think uh, one guy complained about having to screw these sensors all these screws all the way in these little screws I think that's pretty normal just to make a good firm connection I had uh, one device that nobody could get it to work and the problem was I'm right here in front of your little cruiser And the problem was... Uh, we're looking really good. Thanks for asking. Come out of the office. Oh, just kidding. Still initializing. All right, it just popped up. I plugged this in hot, and then I plugged that in, and I got nothing on the car. So let's see if auto scan works. I think this takes like three to five minutes. So... The battery, when it comes new from the factory, is 74%. You know, I really dislike this stupid adapter because it's an Android tablet. So why would you not give a USB connection to this thing? That's just kind of... But in Xinjiang, China, that's what they do to you. It's okay. So the manual, you notice it's unopened. That's because I don't know how to read. Here's where the thing says it's made. In Shenzhen, 
X-Tool Intelligence, direct from Sheena. So it's got some information. So the VIN code's not recognized, cancel. So maybe if you turn on the dang car, try that. Let's see. Let me power up the car. Is that the way you auto scan it? Now if this, oh, look at that. Auto scan, it's a Lexi. Please wait, checking. I'm in the USA. And then I don't have radar crew. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have given you my VIN number. Oh, well. Well, that's it. It's a 2011. It knows it. Uh, engine control, system selection, engine and ECT, tire pressure monitor. This ECU monitors the tire pressure. Let's see. Read trouble codes, clear trouble codes. Let's see what live data is. Because I do have a tire that's low. So it's reading the tire pressure monitor sensors. Oh, look how cool that is. It says main. Oh, it gives me the codes of the little tire guys that are in there. Does it give me, if I touch down, does it tell me, oh, what does that say? Oh, it's giving, wow, how weird is that? Cancel data, custom combined data recording. I don't even know how to use all this stuff. Hey, all I want to know is what's the temperature or the pressure. It says the temperature in each tire is 24 degrees Celsius. Why would we have Celsius? Ooh, the battery voltage is over voltage. The threshold. What's interesting is I just want to know what's the tire pressure. That's telling me the temperature in each tire. You think they mean the pressure? They, <laughs> I don't, and it's degrees Celsius. So I think the temperature in, in tire means pressure in tire because, well, no, it's degrees Celsius, so that wouldn't make any sense. Well, okay, that's my live data. Uh, repair tips, read trouble code. Where is the seat belt? SRS airbag. The ECU controls the detonator for airbag inflation when the crash detects it. Oof, I don't want that. I don't want to mess with the SRS airbags. I just want my driver's seat. Oh, live data. This is the driver's seat. I wonder if I can control the driver's seat from this thing. All I really wanted to do was to turn off my seat belt buzzer. Seat value, memory, key switch, off, parking, door courtesy on, confirmation of key. That's interesting. And then attenuation test, actuation test. So I wonder if I can, ah, the buzzer. Description, activate the memory buzzer. Off, buzzer is off, on, buzzer is on. Confirm that the vehicle is stopped. Do you want to monitor the data list? Huh. Where's the buzzer? Oh my goodness. Front vertical position, reclining side, lifter, front vertical. Interesting. Huh. So, confirmation of key code, driver door, parking brake switch. Seat reclining. Do you want to monitor? Oh, you hmm. rode it over there one time, huh? Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to learn. I'm gonna have to learn and I'm gonna have to read. Because one thing about this is 
when you have so much stuff, you have to learn all this stuff. Detection of occupant, smart key, navigation system, intuitive parking, rain sensor, mirror, combination meter, tilt, right, master switch, driver's seat, right rear door, body number four, back door, advanced parking guidance, gateway, tire, engine, ECT, I wonder, automatic scan, so when you do the yes. automatic scan, yes, oh cool, thanks buddy, Appreciate it. if thank you need you. more, I'll still have them for you, always, cool. thank, you. thank you, um, normal no DTC and you know this is I have no trouble codes or anything oh AFS failure 4 I wonder what AFS is failure 4 still scanning okay so tire pressure monitor ooh interesting I wonder what that is Transmitter ID one not received. Oh, malfunction left rear height control sensor circuit. Oh, this is interesting. So these are the things. Tire pressure monitor not received. ID two, that's happened before. Power window master switch control communication stop. I wonder when these have Driver, door, motor, electronic control unit, communication stop. Headlight, swivel, motor left. Huh. Malfunction of XM tuner. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Too bad it doesn't have a date on these. Yeah, because you have no idea. when that happened all right so I'm gonna leave those there uh, tire pressure okay mm -hmm. all right I'm not gonna mess with that do you want to exit the automatic scan System selection, ECU, engine control unit. I don't think I want to do the engine control unit. Anyway, um, yeah, if somebody knows how I can get my seatbelt to stop dinging, I'd be grateful. So others, unit conversion, door lock, security, power window, wiper, illuminated entry, warning. Let me see what the warning is. Is it my seatbelt warning? Please make that bing, bing, bing go off. Because sometimes it goes bing, 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 and I don't like it. Hmm. Well, was it worth $800? I have no idea. Warning buzzer, driver's side seat belt. Function to change the seat belt. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Off. Praise the goodness of all things. Look at that, warning buzzer, driver's side seat belt. Oh, that's great. Warning buzzer, front passenger seat belt. Function to change the seat belt. It's on, watch this, hit this little magic button and it goes off. That is worth the price of admission. Onset range, rear sensor, buzzer, keep sense, volume off, front and rear buzzer, warning of low key battery. I, all I like is the seat belt, I'm happy. Fix known problems and optimize user experience. Not right now. Super happy. Let's look at that again. So you hit warning, it's in ECU configuration. So jazzed. That's all I really wanted to do is to turn off the bing, 
Bing, bing. I am so happy. Now my question is, do I just shut this device off or do I turn the car off? How do I exit out of this thing? So warning brother, driver's side seat belt. Oh, it's off. So it's stuck. Let's check warning brother, passenger. It's off. Warning buzzer of front passenger side seatbelt. Yippee! Okay. Power door option setup slide roof to display sensor. You know what? Super excited. Super excited. Oh, I can do the maintenance reset in here. I think I don't need to do that. Europe, USA. There's that. I don't need to see that, but I guess that. You can go cut a key all you want, I guess. All right, so looks like we're done. Remote control, report, special functions. I'm happy. I'll update it later. And uh, it's Michael Dillon. Well, let me hit updates. Let me see what it says. Uh, what is the amount? Let's go. Let's try to update that. What's it downloading? Oh, it looks like they're small downloads. So that's the update. Immobilizer, special function instrument cluster. Oh, I hope that's not updating. I think it's updating this unit. Yeah, this is for like Nissan, Hummer, and all these other ones. So it's got a lot of updates. I'm going to do the rest of these updates at home because there is a zillion of them. All right. It's Michael Dillon signing off. Really appreciate the subscribes. We got up to 1,300. I thought I was at almost 2,000. Uh, I do appreciate subscribes uh, and especially some thumbs up. It costs you nothing. Now is the time to smash the thumbs up and then share this video to a friend and write in the comments, I like this video or I don't like this video. Whatever you write, just tell me that you watched it and you thumbs up it in the comments and I'll be grateful. Watched, thumbs up, and a smiley face. Michael Dillon signing off. Thanks.